This cemetery has 9,387 American boys who were killed in action or died of wounds. It's probably the most sacred place in Normandy because these are the men that fought for freedom. Freedom is not free, as you can see. June 6, 1944, an army of more than 150,000 men becomes part of the largest invasion force ever assembled. For Operation Overlord, the liberation of Europe begins. We all had our fingers in the dike. The Germans could have broke through. The floodwaters would have come. They would have just wiped us out. Six decades later, some American D-Day veterans returned to the battlefields of Normandy, France, to remember their comrades and the combat that changed their lives forever. A soldier's mind could never realize, as a young man, what you see in combat, death and destruction of both sides, your enemy and your comrades. June 1944, as Germany braces for the inevitable invasion of France by strengthening its defenses along the Atlantic Wall, the Allies are preparing for the biggest military offensive in the history of man. The first Americans into France will be the Pathfinder teams of the 82nd and 101st Airborne. Bob Murphy of Boston, Massachusetts, is with A Company, 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment of the 82nd All-American Airborne Division. As a pathfinder, Murphy will go in before the main force to help mark the drop zones. A pathfinder has radar equipment. That weighs about Unprepared and untested, they are thrown into a new war in Korea. All of a sudden, this is the first time that we'd ever been that close to another person is shooting at you. The Deuce Four fights for over a year on the front lines, yet they are accused of bugging out in battle. They said that we was running, we dropped our weapons, we didn't fight. 50 years later, the controversy surrounding the Buffalo Soldiers still remains. 